In the Widow's Court, there is two puzzles that you guys need to solve, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first is the ornate lockbox. I'm going to show you how to get your hands on it. You obviously get a scroll here telling you that this guard needs to look after it. And in this area, you will pick up a key, but the location you need to head to should be this area right here. And as of right now, I've played a few different worlds and this location doesn't seem to change. Once you get inside this room, head straight down and follow me on this path. So once you place your eyes on this chest right here, you are obviously going to open it, collect all of the loot inside, but turn around. There should be a wall that is hollow. Jump straight through and it should lead you to a lift. Head up on the lift and once you guys have done that, you should see the ornate lockbox on the table. So once you have collected this item, you are then going to go to your inventory and you are going to inspect the ornate lockbox and what you will do is combine it with the key you just found. So this seed can be used in Ward 13 and it can give you a bunch of cool things. So let me know down below what you think of that one. Next up, I'm going to show you how to get into the room that is near the bridge. So make sure that you guys follow me back down the lift and we'll jump back through this area here. Once you have done that, if you take a right, you are going to see a dead body on your left and it's going to have a key. Take that key as quickly as you can and then what you will do after you've picked up this tarnished key is follow me to the next location. So this is going to be a shortcut so it's easy in case you die and you can easily come back to this location nice and easy. So once you have got through the shortcut, take a left and go up these stairs and you will see a bunch of enemies, take them out as quickly as you can. Some of these will sneak up behind you because they do tend to teleport. So as soon as you have taken them out, you are going to follow me to the next area. So once you're back up the stairs, you are going to see a locked door and this is going to be unlocked by using that tarnished key. So go straight to your inventory, use this tarnished key and follow me to this next location. So once you jump down, you will be able to get your hands on the matriarch's insignia. So let me know down below, has this video helped you? There is another way to this without doing the door. Do you guys know? Let me know down below. See you in the next one.